Hello there everybody, this is Siwap the Platinum One here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Crystal Version. Last time, we easily beat the Elite Four easily, because I'm just that easily awesome, easily. And today, we're going to take on the Champion, who I accidentally spoiled. For a half a second. So let's go. Oh my god, I never would have guessed. I've been waiting for you. Chris! I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. Get ready for crowning music of awesome. Sorry if the Pokemon's Christ disturbed it. Anyway, Champion Lance. This guy is the bane of my existence. Anyway, he's gonna start off with a Gyarados, level 44, with Rain Dance, Surf, Flail, and Hyper Beam. Really good strategy there, Lance. All of his Pokemon have Hyper Beam. Yeah. So, if by any off chance that your Pokemon, like, do not faint from Hyper Beam, you get a free shot or get a free heal. But anyway, bring electric types because Gyarados falls easily to them. And oh shit, Dragonite. <laughs> yes, my friends, this is his toughest Pokemon. Toughest three Pokemon. Because he has three of them. So I better think, which Dragonite will he bring out? I'm guessing the one with Fire Blast, so I'm gonna go for Nani, I guess. So anyway... His Dragonite. Level... 50! Oh, 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 Crap. This Dragonite is really, 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 really cheap. Because Outrage, that's why. Outrage is his freaking most powerful move ever. It's Dragon type. It's a Dragon type move. It's a Dragon type Thrash, basically. And please freeze. Damn it! It didn't freeze. I'm dead. <laughs> oh man. This is gonna be a really painful thing, isn't it? And of course, the game doesn't tell you when, when he stopped, because when he stopped his outrage, because I smell food in the kitchen. Because I smell food in the kitchen. That that works. Um, I'm gonna go for a Slash here. And I'm faster than it. How am I faster than a, than a Dragonite? How? Anyway, toughest Pokemon down, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, it had Safeguard, Fire Blast, and Hyper Beam. So Safeguard, um... Oh god, I already forget which Pokemon he's gonna send out next. Um... Okay, Kuma out, I guess? Uh, oh, another Dragonite. Shoot. <laughs> and guess what? All of his Dragonites are underleveled. Seriously, he's not supposed to have Dragonite until level 55. He is the original user of the Game Shark. So... I don't know which Dragonite this is, because... His other two Dragonites both have Twister, um, Hyper Beam, and Thunder Wave, but I'm not sure if this is the Blizzard Dragonite or the Thunder Dragonite. Then again, I'll never know. Just like, oh jeez, it's the Thunder Dragonite! <laughs> oh man. And you're gonna full restore? No, you're not. Oh she Hyper Beam! <laughs> ah. That is the other bane of the existence as well Hyper Beam. Which can cause your Pokemon to get hurt severely badly. Then you can get a free shot. And level 45, holy damn. I honestly never had this. That's easy to log. What? Up? God! God, will you stop with the Dragonites? Oh, man. Okay. Um, This is the Blizzard Dragonite, so I'm gonna go for Magna Bolt. Alright, so Twister, Thunder Wave, Hyper Beam, and Blizzard this Dragonite has. And I'm actually gonna do the responsible thing. 
And I'm going to paralyze this thing because I want to, I want to at least get a... Oh, you want to paralyze me too, huh? Well, guess what? I paralyze you! Yeah! And I'm going to use try attack on this thing. Boosh! Don't we worry about a thing about, like, Dragonites being... Being, like resistant to electric attacks because its flying type basically nullifies the dragon type resistance to electric types. So it's safe to use Thundershock. Ugh. So I guess this is a Parahax fight, I guess. So you're fully paralyzed and I'm fairly fully paralyzed. You're fully paralyzed and I'm not fully paralyzed. <laughs> this is gonna be a long fight, isn't it? Although the music is really awesome. But I'm sorry, I, I, I mean, as a Pokemon Y2 being the greatest sound, being like the greatest Pokemon soundtrack to me, I still like the Call Rest Battle theme better. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to those of you who are, who like it. I mean, I like this theme and all. It's really, really good. It has the Pokemon theme, it has the Pokemon theme in it for God's sakes. But I'm sorry, I just like the Call Rest Battle theme better. Seriously, listen to it. It's freaking awesome. Ah, I just have to get that off my chest right now. But we'll save that for the Pokemon White 2 LP. We'll save it. Anyway, it's all downhill from here. So he's he's gonna bring out Charizard next. So I'm gonna bring out Blaze. Charizard is level 46 with Flamethrower, Wing Attack, Slash, and Hyper Beam. So, if you're like me and bring out a Fire-type that knows Thunder Punch, you would do that. You would do that, because science demanded it, demanded you to. And holy crap, how am I getting so lucky? I never had this much luck before, but I guess training... I guess with the proper training and this stuff... You know what? I've been making the main story... I've been making the main story really, really easily really, really easily. Wow, that that's some sentences I never thought I'd see together. Any, either way, his last Pokemon is an Aerodactyl with Rock Slide, Ancient Power, Wing Attack, and Hyper Beam, so... I'm going to actually keep um, Blaze out. I know it's risky, but I'm gonna see if I can Thunder Punch. Oh, jeez, that's... That is what I was afraid of. Ugh, Rock Slide, ooh. Okay, that's alright, that's alright. It's alright. I can do this, I can do this. Um, Whitney. I'm pretty sure you can withstand your attacks, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna actually full restore... Uh, Magna Bolt, just to, just to get rid of that paralysis. Because hopefully you can take this attack. Oh, jeez! It's, it's coming out of the crotch! What the heck? <laughs> it's Hyper Jizz. Seriously, look at that. It's Hyper it's hyper Jizz. So I can at least get a free milk drink in. Okay. Then I'm actually gonna do the Responsi Brew thing and use the Fence Curl and... Oh, oh my god! I'm actually going to do the responsible thing and charge up my rollout so I can at least get a free shot at the rollout thing with the defense curl slash rollout thing. And wow, that was actually super effective. Okay. That's something. And he's pretty much doomed. And Lance is pretty much doomed. He's pretty much doomed. Bang. There we go. Ended it with Whitney being all awesome. End of story. Miltank, you have been the bane of my existence for so long, yet you've been a useful partner in Crystal. So with that, I thank you. You didn't even gain a level. What the hell? It's over. But it's a not feeling. I'm not angry at that I lost. In fact, I feel happy. Happy that I witnessed the rise of a great new champion. Whew. You have become truly powerful, Chris. Your Pokémon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. 
As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokémon. Surprise! Last opponent! No. Oh no, it's all over! Professor Oak, if you weren't so slow, you're too slow! Ah, Chris! It's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the League is just fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokémon made this happen. Your Pokémon were outstanding, too. Because they believed you as their trainer, they persevered. Congratulations, Chris! I gave him a totally different voice, what the heck. Let's interview the brand new champion! This is getting to be a bit noisy. Chris, could you come with me? Oh wait, we haven't done the interview! <laughs> uh, I always just imagine... Imagine Mary being like, Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> it's been a long time since I last came here. That's what she said. This is where we honor all the League Champions for all eternity. The courageous Pokémon are also inducted. Here today, we witness the rise of a new League Champion, Dash Dash, a trainer who keep, feels compassion for and trust toward all Pokémon. A trainer who succeeded through all perseverance and determination. The new League Champion who has all the makings of greatness! Chris, allow me to register you and your partners as champions! Behold, guys, this is the original thing. Actually, no, it's not the original thing. It's just a thing. Saving record. Do not turn off. That's weird. And yes, indeed, indeed, my friends, Magnabolt's the Magneton, who we got at root whatever. Our starter, Nani, who is both awesome in this, and at one show I keep referencing. Whitney the Mill Tank, who is a made of my existence and a great partner. Our odd egg Pokemon, Blaze the Magmar. Kuma the Ursaring. Who, last time I used Ursaring, I actually named him Pooh Bear. <laughs> and finally, I'm Becca! That is a long female thing that kind of looks like a cross. What the heck? <laughs> I guess that's what you get for naming the last character in your thing with an L. Professor Oaks rating, you're getting good at this, but you have a long way to go. I do not care. This is not a 100% run or a complete Pokedex run. Like Slim Curry did in Pokemon Blue, which is actually pretty impressive, actually. Either way, that is actually not the end, and I do like this little credit sequence, by the way. There's still the post-game to go, and trust me when I say it's going to be a long one. It's going to be a particularly... I'm not sure if it's going to be a short one or a long one. I'm not sure what it is, but... I don't know. But either way... I think, at around this point, I think Skyward Sword should be ending at this point. Or rather, close to ending at this point. Well, if my calculations are correct. After all, I think this is getting posted the next week. Um, December 28th, I believe. I'm not really sure what it is, but... But as of this moment, I did record the rest... At this moment, I did record the final dungeon of Skyward Sword, and I probably want to get those final dungeon videos up. So, technically, this weekend is probably going to have two Pokemon Crystal videos. I'm not really sure about that. I don't know. Yeah, I like these little Iggly buffs, by the way. They're like spinning, spinning, spinning. Everything is spinning. Hirito Alexander. Nob Agasawara. <laughs> Kazuyoshi Yasuwa. Hertzrog. What the heck kind of name is that? <laughs> I'm sorry, but what the heck kind of name is that? Uri Mura. That's weird. Super Mario Club, yay! Nakamichi. Yeah. AI Hibitsuwa. <laughs> okay. Hiroshi Yamayuchi. The end. The end! I like that little thing, by the way. Uh, the end is just like, like, there. But I do like the sequence better in Huckle and Soul Silver. I don't really remember what that is, but I think it shows pictures from Journey or something. And I do love this little lullaby version of the credits theme. It's really relaxing and such. 
But either way, indeed my friends, that was the end of the main story of Pokemon Crystal, which went rather well, better than I expected. In terms of battles, at least. So with that in mind, I'll see you guys next time for when we begin the post-game. And yes, I do have things to show you and stuff. But yeah, I shall see you guys then. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.